Well, I wrote this poem today, and I was going to use it tomorrow for my fashion report. But hell, I'll think of some other bullshit to do tomorrow. I call this wetter. Well, living in that western air and sleeping on the ground, where the javelinas hunt the horny toads and the jackalopes abound, when the sun's a-hanging way down low and the evening's crisp and clear, well, it's so romantically majestic, sometimes you want to shed a tear. When there ain't no clouds above you and the stars are shining bright, makes you wonder about them folks that thinks they need a roof over their heads at night. Such was the carefree life one fall for the R.O. crew and me. We'd curl up in our dry bedrolls at night, deep inside our dry teepees. We was almost done with shipping. We liked about a week. It was January 2nd. We just camped at Francis Creek. Well, one day we heard some thunder, and the sky turned cold and gray. By supper, we had all decided that it was just going to rain all day. We woke up to a wet breakfast, and we realized it rained all night. There wasn't no need for bitching. We was all wet, but we was all right. We had to walk across the creek to catch a fresh wet horse. There was no way around it. It was our only course. We kind of got our ankles soaked, but it weren't no kind of bad. We throwed on our muddy saddles on top of our muddy saddle pads. When we trotted back to camp that day, it was raining still. When we crossed back to the wagon, our tops of our boots got filled. The water had kept to falling. There just weren't no dry in sight. To have tried to cross that little stream by now would have been a terrible fight. Yeah, Francis Creek was a boiling and writhing mighty fast. It was snapping trees like toothpicks and rolling boulders past. There was pieces of Mahone Mountain out there swirling around and floating scaly islands where whole schools of fish had drowned. It rained and rained for days and days. It just wouldn't ever end. We sat on the bank between wet meals, watching it come around the bend. How cold kept that cook fire hot is still a mystery to me. Dutch oven biscuits in a flood is really something to see. He had a pet road runner that started living under the fly. It would stand at Cole's feet and eat scraps while keeping his feathers dry. Cole sure enough liked that old bird. He said it weren't no pain. Then he'd tell us, Get the hell out of my way. Go eat your beans in the rain. It rained and rained and rained and rained. Everything was wet. Everywhere you walked, everywhere you stood, everywhere you sat. The rain went on for days and weeks. We just couldn't get any better. At first we got as wet as possible, and then we just got wetter. I still think back on them soggy days when I was young and wild and single, but I do it sitting in my easy chair listening to the rain roll off the shingles. Y'all keep snapping. <laughs>